Hello, fellow gunners. Tim here at the Reloading Bench. Hey, I'm uh, wanting to tell you guys about a recall. Now, this is on Rossi Revolvers, 38 Specials and 357s. And the recall, now this is a voluntary recall. Now, this is on the revolvers made from 2005 to 2017. And it's on the model numbers R351, R352, R461, R462, R851, R971, and R972. And these will have the serial numbers beginning with the letter YZ or A through K. Uh, if you have any, if you have these revolvers, you're urged to go to www.rossysafetynotice, all one word, dot com, and there it will give you a place to enter your uh, serial number on your revolver, and it will tell you uh, if it's under a recall and then it will tell you below that what to do and notify them and they will give you further instructions on what to do. Alright, now I have the model 971 and it is on the recall. I entered in my serial number and it said stop using the, the weapon immediately. Uh, and what this what this is for is for drop firing. Uh, they say if you drop the gun, it will fire. Uh, now I don't know about the rest of you, but my dad taught me at a small age to never drop a weapon, or if you do, expect it to go off. Uh, that's just what he's always taught me. A uh, if you drop your weapon, it's liable to go off. So with that in mind, now I'm not telling you guys what to do or whatever, but I've done some research and Rossi is owned by Taurus now. And I have uh, done some research on their customer service. And it's spotty, spotty at best. Uh, some guys said that... Uh, They've had their guns replaced within a, a month. Uh, some of them said they were still waiting, and it's been six months to a year. Uh, some of them said they got cash uh, settlement right up front, just bam, within a month. Um, some guys said that uh, they would turn in a, a gun like a, a 45 ACP and get back a 9 millimeter. <laughs> so it, it's a crapshoot uh, when you when you deal with Taurus. Uh, so with that said, uh, this might not be the smartest thing to do. I am keeping my revolver, and this revolver is empty. Okay. Now see this revolver as the firing pin on the hammer. And of course, it doesn't have the transfer bar. And I'm sure that's probably what they're going to do is re replace it with a gun with a transfer bar or whatever. But I, I don't plan on dropping this. And if I do, I expect it to go off. Uh, that is one reason why you always keep this style gun with the hammer on an empty cylinder. Uh, now, you know, you can drop it while you're firing it and the, the cylinder, or other, the full cylinder come up and there you are. But I'm keeping this weapon. I'm not going to turn it in. Uh, this might be a bad thing. I don't know. There might be some legality to this. I don't know. But I like my little gun. And I know I need to handle it in a safe manner. Uh Guys, uh, 
that's what I wanted to talk about tonight. I just wanted you guys to know about this recall. Uh, there's not really that much out there being said about it. There are a few chat rooms that are talking about it and and whatnot. I have not seen anything on YouTube about it. Uh, Sports Illustrated is the one that has really brung this out. Uh, I said Sport, uh, Sports Illustrated. Uh, Sports Field? I forgot now. But anyway... Guys, if you have these revolvers and uh, know know about this recall. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Damn, I just don't know if that's very smart to keep that revolver. You should try and get a new one.